Okay, where have we not been here? We've been everywhere here, right? And it sure looks like it. All right, let's head back to the living quarters. Oh, the excitement. Trying to find more Garys. No, 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 use your words. All right, where in here have I not been? Really? I could have sworn there was an overseer's office in this place, but I guess we've already looked at all Vault 108. RL3 is ready for duty, sir. But that's good. I was actually trying to click on the <laughs> click on the door, Robert. Well, that was fun, I guess. I was hoping it'd last a little longer, though. Yeah, so this one was involved with cloning experiments, folks. And of course, it was just with some dude named Gary. It's still snowing outside. Fantastic. Alright, where should we go next? Vault 87, we haven't been there yet. Let's go ahead and go over to Little Lamplight. Oh, apparently we've got enemies. Do you know where the enemies are there, Ruben? Hmm? Oh, it's another Reuben. Row battle, motherfuckers! Did you get him? He's pretty resistant to energy weapons, so let me help. Oh, of course, then you critical hit him. Now that sucker I'm not even getting close to. I don't like those robo-brains. They cripple my head instantly. Which is pretty damn rude. Did you get him? I guess he got him. Let's try this again. There we go. Good work there, Robot. You're making this go much more swimmingly than it should. I thought we were actually underground already. Okay. Need to go exactly the opposite direction. Gotcha. Now, I can't remember what 87's gimmick is. They all seem to have a gimmick except for 101, of course. Find something? Oh, you're getting attacked by a vicious dog. Don't let him do that to you. Another day in the US Army. Yes, the U.S. Army where we kill dogs. All right, now am I facing the right way? I see what appears to be a death claw. E yes, that is indeed a death claw. He. There's also laser beams coming from off in the distance. Yeah, there's a death claw over there. Let's try our luck, folks. This is gonna fucking hurt. Keep Looks it on. Like this is my lucky day. Okay, here he comes. I'm just nope. Okay, he knows I'm here. Let's get out of that. Stand up. Be careful, robot. Oh man, you can see down here the damage I'm gonna deal. Not much. We're going for critical hits. Miss. There's one. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh Jesus Christ, Jesus. Stay away. Oh, I think we might need to go to Megaton before I do anything else. Um. What was I looking for? I was looking for the, uh, adapted biogel. Yes. That is the stuff. Thank you, Mothership Zeta, for giving me bullshit. Okay, I crippled his left arm. That's good, I guess. Come on, motherfucker! Come on! Come on! It was fairly glorious. His limb tumbles down the countryside. And I pick it up. As a keepsake, why not? Those things are still no goddamn joke. Let's go slap this vault, and then we'll head back to, uh... Megaton. This is the right way, right? Yep. Just watch, it's full of goddamn death claws. I don't remember anything like that, but it could be. Hey, it's the outcast. Hey there, outcast. Hello. Hey, 
There's jovial as ever. The only reason I got through that Deathclaw fight, folks, is because I cheated with my adapted biogel. <laughs> Works every time. Okay, what are we looking at here? I'm right on top of the fucking thing. Oh, you know what? Ah! Oh, God! Oh, God. <laughs> I actually wasn't killed by, you know, bullets or anything. I was killed by radiation. Did you see that? It was 90 a second. I remember 87 now. That's where we found Fox. God damn it. Oh, Jesus. Radiation, something you need to stay away from. Remember, we actually went through a little lamplight to get there. Are you having fun, Robot? <laughs> Sliding down the stairs? I think he is. Alright, I just thought of another place we can go, though, folks. You remember that place with all the death claws? We'll go there Let's next. Looking to trade? Oh, uh, maybe. Can you repair something? Let's take a look and see. Nope, he's a doctor. I was hoping through some miracle you'd have, like, a hundred. Nope. Okay, we're gonna have to sleep until the regular repairman comes, but not a big deal, folks. I could just wait, but we might as well sleep. Can you move, damn it? Wadsworth, I got a new robot. Now you two be friends, okay? They eye each other like dogs they've just met. I'm sure they'd be sniffing each other's butts Welcome if they could. Up, huh? All right, it's 3 p.m. We'll sleep for 14 hours. It's going to be early morning when we leave. 5.30? What are you doing in my bed? No. 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 That's a bad robot. You stay out of here. It's good to see this is for people. Well, sir. <laughs> Okay, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, my house is a mess. Just like in real life. Let's go ahead and have us some ant meat. And we'll wash it down with a Nuka Cola. Nuka Cola? There you are. Am I satisfied? Hmm. I'm quenched and slaked. Let's hit the town. Still kind of dark out, obviously. It's a shame that this, uh, this helmet actually doesn't have night vision, which is weird. Alright, Crazy Wolf Gang. Yes, I'm looking for your repair, that certain something. And you are good, good. Good, 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 good. So we can take it from 43 to 75? Yes. No, let's go for the helmet first. Now for the gauntlet. Oh, did I repair the wrong thing? I think I did. Oh well. I still got plenty of money, so it's alright. He smiles as he takes my caps. And let's see, what was the name of that place with all the fucking death claws? Wasn't the Grizzly Diner? Ah, and there's also a vault over there. Well, let's head over. Fantastic. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I haven't done all the DLC. Oh boy. I still have broken steel. Alright. Let's actually, before we rip into this death claw, let's make sure that we're at our best. Let's have some of that. Let's have some yogi meat. I've eaten too much. But I'm gonna deal more damage. I actually hit my robot. I'm sorry, robot. Tear you new A, Deathclaw! I chop its fucking legs off. And its head. <laughs> he double taps it just to make sure it's still dead. 
Good work there, Sarge. All right. You know, I have a hundred. I shouldn't have a problem getting the jump on one of these death claws, right? Especially if my partner pulls them in. Oh, piss. I angered one. He's gonna say he knows where it is. Come back, robot. I'm lonely. Where are you going? Is he on the inside of there? Is that where he is, boy? Hmm? I'll... We'll be there. Oh, well, wherever that death claw is. I don't got a target. <laughs> wherever that death claw is, he's uh, buggered off somewhere. Might as well keep this out just in case. I'm trying to find him, Sarge. There he is. I'll spot him for you. Right there. Come on, Sarge. Okay, we're safe for the moment. Yes, I know I've eaten too much game. You don't have to rub it in. Now, I wish I had a few controls for this robot. Just tell him to stand over there and actually pull this son out of a bitch. Oh, God. I was going to say, I think he may notice. Don't notice me. I'm not moving. Oh, shit. There's two of them. Come on. Sneak. I got a critical strike, but no sneak. This is fucking dangerous as fuck. Hold on, robot. I'll save you. Stop damaging my robot. Gonna spank you so goddamn hard. Time to hit the showers. He says he didn't take a goddamn scratch. He's all death claws. They ain't, they ain't no goddamn thing. Not for America's army. Damn good work there, robot. Pulling all the hate. You know, if you do anything right, that's all I need you to do. I just need you to pull all the hate. Some son of a bitch is going to come walking through here later and wonder what the shit happened. <laughs> Let's see. Where are more deck claws? You know what? I haven't seen enough of them. This is clearly... Yeah, I remember this earlier. This is where we snuck in. Good work there, Sarge. I'm also searching for targets. I don't think there are any more. We may have actually killed all the suckers. Hmm. All right, Sarge, let's head over to this uh, Vault 92. Oh. God damn you, frames. Hurt. 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 Come on, let me bullshit my way up there. I'm clipping the terrain. Come on. There you go. Up. I was all worried about getting my armor repaired, and of course, they didn't even lay a finger on me. They are too pissed off at Sarge. Okay, this looks dangerous. We have discovered Vault 92. Yep, there it is. I wonder what story this one has, Sarge. I mean, the last one had Gary Pokemon in it. Do you hear that, Sarge? It sounds like insects. Hey, it's a... No! Oh! God damn it. Oh, sorry about that, Sarge. You all right there, buddy? He spins around, but he's fine. How are my legs from that goddamn mine? Uh, I can tell I'm gonna love this vault. Everyone knows how much I love mines. 
Gary Okamons. <laughs> I like your style there, Scott. God damn it! Man, they are really mean with the mines here. Putting them behind doors. Now if you could just hit jack shit. Let me put you in there closer, Sarge. Go get him. Go get him. Come on. Come on. I'm just getting warmed up. Yes, he's still booting up. No, I put you in there so you could shoot him. Ah, got it, damn it. Where are you going? The fly runs in terror. Ha! The poor creature. Oh well. I, I've never seen them run like that, to be honest. Hmm. There's the reactor door. No interest to go there yet. I don't know what this place's story is. Let's see. Clinic and cafeteria are this way. Or the other way. What's this? The living quarters. Oh, hello. Gonna have ourselves a fish fry there. There we go. What a mess. Mm. Something smells good, Sarge. What'd you make me? Looks delicious. Unfortunately, I'm still stuffed. Morphine? Always good for me. Hmm. Dorm security? Do I really have to worry about that? It looks pretty insecure as it is. No, nothing in here. There's a footlocker. It's empty, though. The men's dorm. The utility closet. Oh, wait, that's the one we just came in. Settle. Don't swing at everything. Sometimes it sounds like this playlist is just queuing whenever we go into another area. It's just how awesome the System Shock 2 soundtrack is, folks. Open. Hey, an easy save. I give it a couple of whiskeys. And it opens up for me like nobody's business. So we get some pre-war money. There we go. What you got there, old timer? Laser pistol. Oh, a rig shotgun. I... Huh, I didn't notice it fire. Huh. Maybe one of the Merc Lurks wandered in here a long time ago. And easy. I'll just... Actually, you know what? Force. Perfect. I uh, don't need any of that. Come on, robot. It's no fun looting everything. The folks want to see something a little more interesting than that, I'm sure. Although I will take these, and they'll just have to deal with it. <laughs> Alright, what else we got? Oh, hello. Kill. Oh. God, will understand. God will understand we're killing giant crustaceans. Yeah. Oh. He puts his plasma rifle right to the back of the thing's head and discharges it. Tasty... Come on, people. Tasty uh, crustacean meat flies into my mouth and I, del I uh, find it to be quite delicious. <laughs> Dramatic miss. I go around the little one go for the big one. He takes a snap out of me with his giant claws. Oh, that smells so good. Hoo-ah! There's actually a quantum in there, of all things. I don't really need these, but let's take a look. And we have a security terminal. Fortunately, I'm too goddamn stupid to hack it. How close am I to leveling up? 
Let's see. Fairly close. So I only need 400 more. I'm probably not on no-dose right now, so we'll go ahead and take a few of those. Do I have no-dose? Red eyes, red eyes, red eyes. Red eyes, no-dose. There we go. That way we'll get a little more. Hmm. Thankfully there's a keyhole on this, you know, very imposing, technologically advanced door. And using just a bobby pin and a flathead screwdriver, I'll get her open. Hmm. Rat away. Stim packs, blood packs. Not a bad find there, Sarge. And with some extra practice here. You know what, I'll take those. Why not? Why the heck not? Nothing too interesting in here. See you later there, Zeffy, if you're still around. What are you? You look like something. Oh. Professor Mollus audio log. Unbelievable. We've had 12 more incidents in the past month mirroring subject V92071's actions. The shocking part is the savagery these aberrants exhibit when they murder. They rip their victims apart limb from limb and eviscerate them by hand. These used to be respected members of the musical community. How could this be happening? Where have I gone wrong? What? Musical community? I guess I'll take that. All right, what do we have here? Intravault mail, 480. Section four lab assistance to Professor John Malice. Congratulations on a job well done, everyone. It seems like the current WN tests are a complete success with less than 1% margin of error. We still have much to do analyzing the data, but I think all of you deserve a pat on the back for your excellent work. Keep it up. From Richard <laughs> Richard Rubin, Vault Overseer Vault 92 to John Malice or Malius or whatever. Here's the data on subject that as requested. We are, uh, we'll just call that V92. We are completely baffled as to why anyone would behave in such a manner after being subjected to the WN experiments. As soon as our autopsy is complete, we'll try and piece together why he went insane. Sorry about this, Rick. We'll get to the bottom of it very soon. Alright, this one's also to the overseer from our professor here. We have a serious problem on our hands, and we have yet to answer, and you have yet to answer my last several intervault mails, or even see me. I have seven more dead, and three other Vault 92 residents that have suffered the same symptoms as Subject V92. How many more of these people will have to die before you realize we're in deep trouble? We're alone out here. No one will come to our rescue. Anyone is, if anyone is left. If anyone is even left outside, we have to deal with our, this ourselves. Please, I beg of you to see me immediately and call off your goon squad on the living area. Hmm. And his final message to the overseer Section 4 is hover under heavy guard now. I can't even get in without a personal escort. It's my estimate that over 30% of the vault's entire population is now clinically insane and poses a real danger to the rest of us. We have to consider the possibility that we may need to abandon this vault completely. Better to take a chance on the outside than here. You still won't speak to me, and any attempt I've made to see you has ended in scuffles with your guards. It's obvious something's going on, and I'm going to find out what. Seems he didn't, though, because there's no more entries. I see. I wonder what WN stands for. What could make these people go insane? And why are there all these Merklerks in here? You know, it may actually be advantageous for me to get into this terminal, just so you guys get some extra, uh, extra content. Go ahead and drop all these fucking bottles. We don't need those. And let's try to get smart, folks. We'll take some Mentats. Where's my Mentats? Mentats? Oh, and did I have any 
Yeah, I, that's not what I need. I don't have amphetamines. Which means I probably can't do this. I also don't have my fancy coat. Where's my, uh, science? Science is at... 40. Uh, that's a little short. So I just wasted Mentats, apparently. Oh well. Just make sure there's no... Amphetamines in here. No, it appears there isn't. Oh well, let's try to find the, uh... Hmm, their speaker is up there. That's sort of different. Maybe it has to do with the WN. I step over the death claws. Alright, where... What are we looking at here? We haven't been to this area. Come on, robot. I need to increase my sensitivity or something. There we go. Merc lurks everywhere. Now we're in the atrium. I think that's what that said. Holy fish! Are you opening fire? I didn't hear anything. Okay, you sort out those flies. Pack of cigarettes. Get out of my face! No idea how these flies got in here either. An average door. No, stop it. Oh, I see ya. Little fucker. I almost forgot those things were here. Oh! God damn it. Scared the fuck out of me. It's a rig shotgun. I just ran through a trap. Of course, the buckshot just flies off my armor. There's nothing to worry about at all. Classroom and the lab. Should have fucking known. Goddamn rude vault. So rude. Stop it. Get out of here, you little shit. There's the reactor again. This must be the lab over here. It's a clinic, cafeteria, classroom, equipment room. I swat a couple of flies, not a big problem with my giant death claw hand. Here we go, sound testing, it says on the door. Oh my goodness. I scratch that one's face out right between the uh, plates of its shell. Got more action? Time to hit the showers, he says. Yeah, you're probably covered in... Covered in goo. <clears throat> we have a tape from our professor here. What does it say, folks? The situation is getting out of hand. Over half the population of the vault is exhibiting savage tendencies. You can only assume our noise experimentation has awakened some dormant part of their psyche. Brought their primitive nature to the surface. In essence, I feel that they are almost psychologically devolving. I was stupid for rushing these experiments. Now over 35 people are dead. Hmm. So the sound is doing it, huh? That kind of makes sense. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything in here. There is a certain artifact in this vault, folks. I do remember that much. And actually, I think it should be in this room, to be honest. something very special, and it's amazing that it lasts this long. I don't see it in here, Robert. Not going that way. I hear enemies. The soft cooing of the Merc Lurks, or the Meyer Lurks. Come here. I hear you. Oh, shit! 
That's the idea, Sarge! I wrap my claws around its head and I squeeze. There you go. There's nothing but kings down here. Nikola Tesla and you, and another tape. I can't believe what I've discovered. Just before he died, one of the security team members told me everything. The Overseer has been implanting these murderous intentions in the entire vault population without my knowledge. Using the loudspeakers in the dorms instead of just the studios, he subjected everyone to the white noise as they slept. He then implanted combat suggestions he claims came from vault Tech itself. He... he must be completely insane. No observation, no controls. I'm going to have to confront him now and make him pay for what he's done. Half the vault is dead. The other half, fighting for its life. Good luck to all of us. And may God have mercy on our souls. Hmm. Very interesting. So we have... Ah, the recording studio, of course. So we have some more mail on here. It looks like these ones came from an earlier date. From the engineering staff to the studio supervisor, Parker Livingstein. Hey guys, I'm not sure if this is even worth putting into official trouble ticket for, but I'm getting some weird, some sort of odd high-pitched overlay on my sound equipment. It's almost like another signal is leaking from maybe the vault intercom network? Or the communications gear? and piggybacking on everything I record. It's barely noticeable, but I definitely see it in my scope. Do we have some kind of cross-wiring issues or faulty cable installation problems on sea level? And this one's from to uh, Hilda from our studio supervisor. I just wanted to take this opportunity to send you an intervault mail regarding the wonderful session you performed this uh, afternoon. The sound you coax from your Stradivarius is bar none the most haunting, beautiful thing I've heard to date. And I was wondering if perhaps we could get together tomorrow evening and discuss more in a, uh, in this more, in, in a more intimate setting. This one's also to Hilda. Hi, Hildy. I guess they're getting a little closer. Just wanted to send you a quick note. Our session together yesterday was wonderful. I'm glad the studio doors lock, otherwise some of your stuffier fellow musicians might not appreciate how closely you and I work. Make sure that we meet make sure that we meet tonight. You bring your delicate instrument and your uh, violin too. I have an idea of something we can do with that bow, <laughs> with the bow, a new technique that I've always wanted to try. They were having the relations, Sarge. Nothing that you'd understand. Hmm. Looks like a few were holed up in here at the last moment with laser guns. Wonder if they were in their right minds. And here we find a Stradivari that Stradivarius. Kept in prime condition in some kind of weird holding container. I'll go ahead and pick that up. We also have a very easy vault. Or vault. <laughs> we have a safe. Kind of a vault. Much, just much smaller. Shit. No. No. There we go. Just a small amount of stuff from these poor bastards. That could be, uh... Our supervisor right there. And one of these ones could be Hilda. You never know. The clothing on him is just too deteriorated. And even though I'm a medical doctor, Dr. Skullpunch, I can't tell which one's male or female. Let's see, am I at uh, Top Madison? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Dr. Skullpunch. <laughs> I may not be smart, but I'm a doctor. So there was a hidden treasure in here. Amongst all the pain and misery, and I'm surprised that door didn't have a freaking mind on the other side, just to piss me off. Ammo. Well, I guess they all have ammo, even when they're <laughs> centered around the uh, centered around music. They still have guns, because that is beautiful, beautiful music to some people, folks. A camera and some money. Hmm. 
I was wondering what that was. Well, there's a hand on the floor. How'd this get here? Some Nuka Cola's still fresh. Myrler cakes? Does that mean these people are fucking eating these things? It must. Pre war book, we will take that. I said no. It's off, but it's still exuding music. Damn it. <laughs> Don't you give me copyright copyright flag. Drew. Hmm. I'd like to get to the overseer's place, but I don't think there's anything else really worthwhile in here, folks. Other than the Stradivarius. Chicks dig the violin. I mean, she was the violinist. Let's see, where else haven't we been, Sarge? Hey, Overseer's office. I was right next to it. Oh. I don't think there's any way to get in there, honestly. Alright, Sarge, let's get the hell out of here. 